the 80s. When you said people are disgusting, we're going to get to that. Nasty. Yo, people are disgusting. That's Yo, crazy. Disneyland, you're on warning. Um, <laughs> moving on. Randy <laughs> Carlisle. Not to be confused with Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, who's Belinda Carlisle, by the way? I know that name. Don't From the Bengals? Belinda Carlisle? Come on. The Bel- Bengals? Dick, you're white, you. God damn, you. She's from the, a group, the... Belinda Jogos, Go-Go's, the Go-Go's. From the Go-Go's. Yeah, yeah, she was like a huge 80s star. Is, are they, they're not related. No, at all. But everyone thought, I thought it was Belinda Carlisle too. Two different spellings, I believe. Yeah, Carlisle. No, it's the same Carlisle, I think. I think she spells hers with... L I L E, not yep. Carlisle. Yeah, but it's so confusing though. That's how you gotta spell Carlisle. It's so con- Carlisle. It's- Carlisle? <laughs> That's how I remember it. It's C R A R L Lizzle. Well, I have a friend in Carlisle, so we call him Carlisle. So we, I knew how to spell Carlisle properly. Yeah, like easy. Carlisle, you know what yeah. I mean? And he was a Chinese Jamaican. So he was a Chinese dude who sounded white because he went to college here, but his parents were from Jamaica and he grew up in Jamaica his, half his life. So when he would talk to his shit. mom, he'd be like, Wah, Guan, yeah, I want to get that roti, I bring the roti, Guan, Guan. I'm like, what? That'd be too much shit. The visual Way too much. and the audio of that be like spinning you out. That's so you're a Chinese guy trip. who sounds like a regular white American who could speak trip Jamaican past out in fucking shot this, man. You Chinese come back Jamaicans. One week. Yeah. I have your money. No trip. <laughs> wow. It's Chinese Jamaican. Yeah, they call him wow. Chinese. Chinese. Big what Chinese. Chinese. Chinese? Yeah, Chinese. Like Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, the China man or the China man. Everyone's yeah, China man in Jamaica. China man, number one. Yeah, China man, number yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. So Brandy Carlisle, I liked her. She's actually. incredible, she was man. Good. She was dope. She was good. She was so dope. She, she did that. the proper, she's what Miley Cyrus wants to be. That's she, my point. With the, I was ooh, just saying, like, she got that like, real, you know what I'm saying? At? We've been mm-hmm. saying, where the musicians at? We don't have no musicians these days. Where the singers, where the this. They Her river's in Tennessee, not the river Malibu, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm saying. So shout out to Brandy Carlisle. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Weekend update. It's great. Solid. 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 Solid four pack. You got a lot of jokes to listen to if you haven't caught SNL since they started. Congratulations. You got a lot of jokes coming up, and they're good ones. Big time. And it's Vegas is the devil. Yeah. Just rolling them. Roll Just roll it up. You baby trapped her. You baby trapped her. That was so good. You baby trapped her. Baby trapped her. <laughs> I wasn't like that. Killed. Yo, that was great. I got a picture. Tom Brady's doing good. I keep a soul right here. Bruh, that Tom Brady <laughs> picture. That was me. incredible. <laughs> he said, you know what? I've been venting things. He's like, you know what? You know, we scroll the thing. And no matter how you scroll, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Getting bigger. That made the abs. <laughs> <laughs> COVID, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That shit was great. No, you baby trapped. It was a great ending. Baby that was a great ending. And a then great that was the only... That was the only uh, feature, I think. Yeah, that was we the only feature. Out of the time. Time. Yeah. We, they, that was, they I'm fine with that. Time. They had to make room for time I, I, for the boomer. Yeah, but I'm, that's cool. We'll take it. We'll yeah, take it. The now boomer's let's, up next. Now let's get up. Let's get to it. The boomer, the, the damn near eight minute sketch. How long in advance did you know you were going to be doing the sketch? I mean, it, everybody wanted it to happen. It was just, you know, getting Sudeikis to agree to it. And then could we get Fred and could we do it without Bill? So really, it was only like, Wednesday morning that I knew that it really had gotten done. You know what I'm saying? And it was going into the read. So I begged two weeks ago. I was like, you got Sudeikis, yo. Can we please get what's up with that? Please, I mean, I knew when he, when he was hosting, I'm like, that'll be the chance to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, we need the elements. And we need him. Like, how does he feel about it? You know, I can't just force, you know, sketches on people. You know what I'm saying? It's they weak, basically. So he wanted it to, you know, he wanted to do it too, basically. He was just as excited as everybody else. I just hadn't talked to him personally about it. I was talking to my buddy that writes it with me, Brian, and uh, I mean, man, it was it was fucking my pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Like it had been eight years, number one, since we did it in the studio. We did it like over the zooms or whatever. Eight years? But it had been eight years since what? we did it in the studio. Sudeikis left eight years ago. Eight years? 2013. Crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it. I hadn't done all that huffing and puffing in that long, so my shit, my sides was hurting. The next day, like I damn, I feel like I damn near can feel it. Why is Peacock not authorizing the what's up with that mini movie or mini series right now? Just put the money up, really get all these guys movie. in it, and can we just get this on Peacock? Just give me five minutes a clip oh, with you guys on a road right? trip, like like you're on a road trip with these fools. <laughs> just give it to me five minutes a clip. We would we would kill for it, please. All we gotta do is write it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. Like, it's really on me. Like, if I would have wrote the What's Up With That movie, it would have probably gotten done. But then it would have been like. <laughs> what? 
a ladies' man or something like that, it would just yes. be out there. So if we do it right, it could be like a Wayne's World. If we do it wrong, it could be like the ladies' man. Even though the <laughs> shout out to Simona, super fucking, super funny. fucking funny, by the way. But it's a slept on movie. Super slept on. So if you rewatch it now, it's hilarious. Hilarious. Yes. So yes. Yes. Shout out to my brother Tim Meadows. I love Tim. We're gonna go into what's up with that though. We have to. All right. First of all, Oscar Isaac played the shit out of that, bro. Oscar Isaac. As far as how fire and on fire he is right now, God bless him for coming through and doing that. Shout shit. out to Dune on HBO There's show. All one. that, like he was a fan of it. It's the, cra- the shit that's blowing my mind is all these people that are fans of the sketch. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Like these are like Oscar Isaac's in every fucking like realm. Yeah, it's like, new Pacino series there yeah, it's is. New Pacino you know right I mean? there. Yeah, for sure. So for him to be like. This, you know, just to have that catalog on these people like that, that a sketch has been living in people's minds like that for so long, it's just mind blowing, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, I just, you know, I just had an idea basically. And what we were able to build out of that shit is incredible. Black Jeopardy, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would sit and watch a Black Jeopardy, like, episodic game show, like, if it came on every night and it was a joke, I would watch the shit out of that. 100%. You know what I'm saying? That shit would be incredible. But those are the last yeah. of the legacy sketches. Yeah, that's that's another. What do you mean of mine? When, all right. I mean, I don't want to go into it, but let's go into it. There are really not that many legacy. Like, all right. SNL used to be known. All right. Let's go into it. SNL used to be known for not necessarily being current, but having sketches you liked and then doing them multiple times over. Mm-hmm. Velvet Jones, Mrs. Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. California. Californians. You, go, you can go for any 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 era you want. All, multiple sketches were done. Van Man, I live in a van. Yeah, I remember. All those things. Bronx beat, even. It, yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what SNL was. That You guys were made on that. And then somehow around, like, I want to say, like, the 2010 era, Around the 15s is when you guys went all current, like when the younger blood came in and it was less about legacy acts, redo, legacy sketches, redoing the same thing, and then just attacking the zeitgeist. Yeah. And now you attack the zeitgeist. Every week is an attack on the zeitgeist. Boom, 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 boom. But secret stands, like myself, people in this room, we miss them legacy acts. We miss those those couple sketches we can live with because that's what you, they, it, it endears you to the people. You get what I mean? Yeah. It's different. It's a different kind of connection. Like when I watch that, all right, we'll get into it. Emily Ratajkowski, great to see her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was so nice for doing it too. Yeah, Emily. she was great. Movies, the second by the way. seat is just like you yeah, know, any random. That's just a random seat. Yeah. Like anyone can be in the second seat. Oh yeah, yeah. She's a, a very blessed individual. She's yes, a, yes. Very pretty lady. God bless her. God bless she, her. She, she couldn't have been nicer. She's somebody's mom. Now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and wife. And wife. And, and wife. wife. Yeah. Yes, yes. So. And then you had my man Greg. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I just seen him Braun. in Fuller. Yes. Number one, he's tall as shit. Yeah. Didn't know that because he was sitting when I met him. You know what I'm saying? So then I see him back in the hallway. I'm like, oh, shit. You're fucking way the fuck up there. All right, cool. Whatever. But we were trying to figure out how we're going to make this the Lindsey Buckingham and make it make sense and still be funny. And so that shit kept like, you know, tweaking, tweaking, tweaking all the way to the live tweak. So the tweaking between dress rehearsal and live, like the back and forth was Probably the best fix I've seen in a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, True shout out to Brian, man. He did his thing with that. He seems very genuine, too. I've seen clips of him just randomly in the street. He seems like a, like that's who he is. Like a really Brian, nice guy. Yeah. Super nice. Like, he's just a nice guy. Like, yeah, hey, how are you? Super nice. Yeah, like, like, uh, this is amazing. Like, yeah. I cannot believe I'm here. And, like, he was talking. Him and Alex were, like, talking like they knew each other. I'm like, oh, well, if you, and, you know Alex, then you're really, like, a super down guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Alex is just, like, you know, focused actor guy, you know. When he leaves there, he's got his backpack on, and people may or may not recognize him. You know what I'm saying? So he's still just performing, even though he's been on the show for years. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about, you know, the work ethic of it all. And when I see those two people talking for a while, I'm like, oh, he's a a workhorse, thespian kind of guy as well. So, yeah, he did his thing. He was very nice. I'm glad those jokes, like, finally tightened up to where he was able to say something. Because before we didn't have him talking, and it was just weird, like, just doing the Lindsey Buckingham bit. Then we like added in him being able to say something, but I just didn't believe him or whatever, and it was just it was perfect. So, <laughs> then you had Fred. We brought Fred, you brought Fred back. Come on, man! G- g- great to just see him. Always didn't have to do shit, but just, just showed up. For, just just showed up, to put some prosthetics on, and left. Like not left, but he was there. But you get my point. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that's ill. That's that. so dope. That's love, man. I got I love Fred so much, man. That's one of my closest brothers. Like. 
because he was there when everybody, when I first came in with left, you know what I'm saying? He was like the last thing to do. And he was like, showed me the double duty hustle. You know what I'm saying? First, like Fred pulled that Portlandia move. Like most people leave and then jump on some shit right away or jump into a movie right away. Fred was like, nah, I'm gonna do this Portlandia thing, you know, for a while, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Before I leave here type shit. And I was like, Whoa. Yeah, you it can, can do be it done. like that. It can be done. It's a whole new another blueprint. Hey, there you, I didn't even know that. I wasn't even thinking about that. It can be done. There you go. Yep. And th that changed the realm of possibilities. It definitely did. You know what I'm saying? It, it just was like he did it, and then like somebody else did it, and then it was like that's how you do it now. You know what I'm saying? Like don't let go of the branch until you know your next show is a hit or whatever. You know? So why even let go of it? Eighty did, did a whole series run. She, I think 80 is the first person to complete a series run while she's still on the show. So that's historic, yep. I think. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Like, put out a whole show while she was on the show. That's gangster. 100,000%. Shout out to her. Absolutely. All right. Let's just get into it. My favorite part of What's Up With That and I Love You is always Sedegas. Oh, man, it's always on. Sedegas dancing. I'm, it's always Sedegas dancing. It's the dance moves. It's him. Hey, when you told me he makes the dance moves up, I said, no, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Because when he started hitting, he hit this shit. I said, oh, what the? We have, no, he hit one hand. He hit, oh. He hit, yo, it was done. I was like, yo, he's the greatest. Bruh. He hit the Roger Rabbit. He, he hit got the, rhythm. He, yo, he got rhythm. It's that visual yo. conundrum. Once again, like the visual of a white man hitting the running man. Oh, my and God. And Roger Rabbit and all these like... 90s, 80s dancers or whatever, like, and killing it. And the WAP, he was doing this. They're doing the WAP, like, what, happy what? with the yes. Annie wig. Come on, it's just too, it's too, it's too much to process. And he and always jumps out. Thoroughly enjoy. And he always jumps out into the scene. He doesn't yeah. walk in, he's like, Jump in. Bang. I was watching with the young lady, I was like, watch, he's about to jump out again. He's going to jump out again. I was watching him <laughs> measure off where the edge of frame was in rehearsal. <laughs> so he can jump, he's like, that's where I do it. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker's got like a whole thing built into this shit. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, bro. And I never really knew his, I mean, I kind of knew his name was Vance, but I like that you gave them more time. Like, man, it's got to take it on these. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that knee's feeling, player. Man, it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks the fucking Jumping in. cigarette. Right. right. <laughs> and then he jumps on the stage. And then jumps on the stage. Killing, bro. It is my pleasure to maestro that whole shit. The like, heebie -bee -gees. It's not about me singing. It's about everything in the background. Like the, the back, circus, probably the greatest background sketch ever. A hundred thousand percent. The heebie jeebies. I didn't even. I was like, hold on, the heebie. The oh, the heebie jeebie. The heebie bee gees. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the heebie bee gees. The heebie bee gees. Like I was like, what? It's just jokes. It's all jokes in there. And then Steve Bartman. They didn't catch that one. That was the one I was like, oh, this is over your head. They were young. It, it was. It was over. It was over everyone's head. They're too young for a two thousand three reference. Yes. I was like, Bartman, no. Girl was like, what? Every was grown like, man cereal, that was Bartman. eating his cornflakes the next day spit his fucking cereal. A hundred percent. Bartman? Steve Bartman. Out of nowhere. Go Bartman. Go Bartman. Baseball. You forgive him? Yup. And shout out to Chris Redford for, for, for setting it off. Set it off. Set off the dance. Oh, come on. Oh, Miami Al Sharpton. Yeah. It's weird Al Sharpton, but I kept calling him Miami Al Sharpton because of his shirt. And I kept laughing and pointing at him in the beginning because I could see him out of my peripheral vision. Like, <laughs> there's this great joke sitting here that y'all don't even know is coming. You know what I'm saying? But I can see it bright as hell. You know, just Murdered. the one. Everybody else is just in normal clothes. There's this old man in this gray wig and his Miami. He started hitting the he started in October. <laughs> Come on, man. Bro, we that need, shit was great. We need that more. We need that. I know you can't get that more often because in order to get it, we need all these people to be in it. But it just shows the importance of some more legacy sketches on the show. That's a great. We point. need some more legacy sketches for, for the young guys. Get Bowen some legacy sketches. Daddy yeah. Long Legs. I don't. Whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? I need more legacy sketches so I can endear myself All to these people. All you gotta do is start naming the characters instead of just doing the character. Instead of just doing the sketches, like name them. You know what I'm saying? I'm Brandon. And I have attitude. Then we know that. Oh shit, we got a Brandon sketch coming. Yes, you bingo. Put a name on it. You bingo. Know what I'm so. Bingo. Yeah. Because that kid's Bowen can play that gay kid in many different things. Yeah. Doing many different things. But when it's coming back and you know it's like an episode of Brandon, yeah. you know, you're about to get exactly. you know, some fierce walk in, some yes. this, that, and the other, some <laughs> slow walks, some <laughs> setup into it where it's just dry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some mundane yes. middle school presentation of whatever. And it's like, 
oh shit, it's Brandon's turn. Yep. You know what I mean? That's that legacy shit. So, the yeah. last legacy shit is on Weekend Update point. in terms of like recurring characters. Yep. That's the last bit of legacy in my opinion sketches that, that are yep. still running, but we need to bring back the legacy sketches. Yeah. We that's need to good, bring them that's back. That's a great point. 100%. Uh, Declaration of Independence. This Muke's getting off. Yeah, that was funny. Speaking of your man. Yeah, yeah. that was funny. That, that was funny. Sick ass treasure map, map on the back. Thing. I was like, oh, that's funny. That's good. That's good because whoever wrote that script, the original yeah. script, was like, really? You put a treasure map on the back of Declaration of Independence? No one wrote that movie? No, that was a big movie. They made two of them, three of them. Full franchise. Yes. Yeah, that was a full franchise for Nick Cage. Big yeah, no, checks. And good. why is he still hustling so hard? I'm like, what is he doing with all his up, money? It's the upkeep. Well, A, he owed a lot of money, but he declared bankruptcy. But B, I'm positive he's living some freaky. Well, you understand? Remember when he went bankrupt, how he was living before? He had a castle. He had a dinosaur head that he outbid for like a million, two million dollars that was on his desk. He was living like Elon Musk. You think Elon Musk should be living? That's how Nicolas Cage was living in the late Crazy. 90s, early 2000s. Right. Lost all of it. And then started hustling again, but I think he's back to like, yo, I need to make seven million a year. Johnny so. Depp was they like was they Warren? Because Johnny Depp, he spent like a million dollars on wine a year. In like a, is was it a year? I think it was a year. Oh, okay, I thought you know why? Like hundred thousand, no, hundred thousand a month. I think he's spending on wine. Why? I mean, is that good? I don't know. Because because you can. He bought an it's island. For your friends. He yeah. bought an island. It's for your friends. Well, it's just it's just. If you're extravagant already, because you're talking about Johnny Depp and Nicolas Cage, right. these are extreme actors, actors from complete extremes. Yes. Now you have the money to indulge the inner extremity, which allowed them to play those characters. Yeah, I need a villa. I yes. Need, I need a monastery. I need, I need a masseuse on coal all the time. Yeah. I need a plane for my for my dogs. You know what I mean? Like playing for my dogs. Like Oprah. Oprah get yo. I send a plane. Separate for the plane. Whenever she and her dogs, like is she not next to them or something? The dogs go on a private jet to her. Just the dogs and the dog handler. Two little things. Yo, Oprah, I know you did a lot of giving on the show, the Angel Network. Mm -hmm. Just need a little more like vocal on what we give in these days. If if the dogs is flying to meet you somewhere, I mean, she built a school for women in Africa. Probably, I mean, that's great. But that's huge. I know, but I, I know. mean, I feel like Boko Haram kind of burned that down, though. Damn. So, Literally, fuck no. I'm gonna need her to like do some shit around here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on around here? Oprah Winfrey Charter School in America. Some, oh yeah, I, I just don't know where her American, you know, legacy is towards these little black girls that need that school just as much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I, I feel don't like know. she's got a chip on her shoulder about America, which I can't blame her. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, she made it the most famous face in America. Them little kids ain't got nothing to do with that. She definitely became the most famous person in America. 